welcome to the online class students today we are going to discuss min term max term and canonical expressions min term max term canonical expression <coughs> what is mean by main term main term is nothing but logical product of several variables the variables may be complemented or uncomplemented form for example see here for example what is the main term the logical product of several variables the variables may be complemented or uncomplemented form is called is referred as or is called main term for example x into y into z x into y x into y bar into z like it or we can say a into b into c bar a into b bar into c into d bar see here all this term each term is made up of logical multiplication see here x into y into z x into y like that a into b bar into c into d bar so these terms are called min terms because what is a min term min term can be defined as logical product of several variables variables may be complemented or uncomplemented form see here for example here x y z are the variables between these x y z variables logical multiplication is there so that's why x into y into z this is called logical product what is the min term min term is referred as logical product of several variables logical product of several variables variables may be complemented or uncomplemented form it means x into y bar into z x y z are the three variables each variable may be either in the complemented form or uncomplemented form but that term must be logical multiplication in that term logical only logical multiplication must be there such terms are called min terms such term is called main term and uh, next every main term is indicated by m every main term is indicated by m and uh, that the main term subscript that the main term has a subscript that is indicated by small i that is indicated by small i that the subscript represents the decimal equivalent of the decimal equivalent of the main term form see here for example and uh, one more thing what we can observe here means in the main term each variable each variable represents one and uh, complement of variable is represented by zero complement of variable is represented by zero for example x into y into z bar it means 
it's a residual equivalent is in the mid term variable is represented by 1 therefore x is the 1 we have right y it is also variable so its decimal equivalent is 1 z bar is there. so in the mid term z bar means it is means complement of variable z bar means so it is represented by 0 so so this is the binary form form binary form <coughs> It's a decimal equivalent means 1, 2, 4. We already know, right? So, 0 means it becomes 0, 2 means 2, 4 means 4. So, total it's a decimal equivalent is 4 plus 2, 6. So, how to write the mean term designation means mean term indicated by small n it's a subscript it's a subscript represents decimal equivalent of binary form so means here i in subscript here i represents decimal equivalent of its binary form that is 6 so m6 is nothing but designation of main term designation of main term now let us consider two variables and in a detail uh, let us see if suppose we are going to consider two variable then what are the main terms of that two variables and the main term designation by considering the one variable Suppose x and y are the two variables, x and y are the two variables, then the mean term for x and y table is as follows. Suppose x and y two variables means what are the possible input combinations? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right? Right? X and y are the two variables. Now we are going to write designation of main term. Now we are going to find the designation of main term means main term is nothing but logical product terms. That's why perform logical operation between x and y. That is 0 into 0, 0 into 0, 0 into 1, 1 into 0, 1 into 1, right? So, min terms means, just now I said, in the min term, each variable is uh, represented by 1 and its complement form is represented by 0, right? So, here 0 into 0 means, we have to take variable complement form that is x bar into y bar 0 into 1 means x bar into y 1 into 0 means x into y bar 
1 into 1. 1 means in the mean term, 1 means variable. So, take x into y. So, these are nothing but mean, mean terms. Right? These are nothing but mean terms for two variables x and y. What are the mean terms for two variables x and y? x bar into y bar, x bar into y, x into y bar, x into x. So, I said now only in the mean term, mean term, mean term designation is indicated by small m, right? And uh, mean, mean term has subscript i that represents decimal equivalent of binary form binary value decimal equivalent value of its binary value means x bar y bar right x bar y bar means x bar represents 0 0 0 this is what 0 0 this is what binary form it's a decimal equivalent means decimal form means 0 means 2 power 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 0 means 0 0 into 0 means 0 2 power 1 means 2 2 into 0 means 0 so it's a decimal form is also 0 so this uh, i subscript indicates decimal equivalent of binary decimal equivalent of given mean term so that's why this is nothing but m c like like that here x bar into y is there means 2 power uh, x bar means x bar means bar into y means 0 into 1 right 2 power 0 means 1 2 power 1 means 2 so this cancels only 1 into 1 means 1 so mean term designation is 1 like this here x into y bar x into y bar means its a binary form is 1 into 0 2 power 1 means 2 power 0 means 1 2 power 1 means 2 so 2 into 1 means 0 2 into 1 means 2 so it's a mean term is 2 like that x into y means both are variable variable means 1 1 complement is there means we have to take 0 so 1 1 so this is what binary form it's a decimal form means decimal equivalent means this is nothing but 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 0 means 1 2 power 1 means 2 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 so it becomes 3 so that's why x into y means its mean term designation is m3. Like that, we have to find mean term designations for each mean term. For each mean term. So just now I have done uh, mean term designation, mean terms and mean term designation for two variables x and y. Like that, to try mean term table for three variables x, y, z. Then you get mean term designation m0 to m8. Uh, m7, sorry. Because 8 terms, uh, 3 variables means 2 power n, 2 power 3. 8 terms you must get. That is, 8 designations you are getting. That is, m0 to m7. 
so now let us uh, see how to find min term designation for the given min term designation for the given min term consider some main terms like first one x bar into y into z second one x into y into z bar third one x into y into z so these are the given three main terms these are the given three main terms now we have to find main term designations for these three main terms so what is the procedure mean first we have to copy the given main term and afterwards that, that is first we have to consider the given main term that is its original form of main term next we have to find its equivalent binary form afterwards we have to find its decimal equivalent and that value becomes main term designation for example this is the first one x bar into y into z so first one x bar into y into z solution first one we have right first we have to write original form of bin term right original form of bin term which will be equal to write the given bin term that is x bar into y into z right next what we have to do? We have to find its binary equivalent. That is, binary form is equal to how to write the binary form of binary form of given min term means substitute 1 for the variable and 0 for the complement of the variable. See here, x bar is there x bar means complement of variable substitute 0 0 next y is there 1 into z is there variable so it is also 1 right next what we have to do we have to find this binary form so equivalent to decimal form that is decimal form of 0 1 1 is equal to what is its equivalent decimal form so in the last year we discussed how to convert a binary to decimal that thing we have to use here so that is 2 4 0 2 4 1 2 4 2 so 2 4 0 means 1 2 2 4 2 means 4 so 4 into 0 means 0 leave it 2 into 1 plus 1 into 1 means 2 into 1 means 2 2 plus 1 means 3 so 3 is nothing but main term designation therefore we have to write therefore x bar into y into z it's a main term The 
designation is equal to wind turbine is indicated by small m. Its designation is written with a subscript that is 3 in the answer. It's uh, x bar into y into z. Its mean designation is m3. In the examination, he is going to ask for one mark. Find its main term designation or for the given main term, find its designation. Simple way. See here. Suppose consider second one. Second one. What is the second one? X into y into z bar is there. X into y into z bar is there. So same. First step means original form of main term. Original form of main term. Original form of main term means x into y into z bar. Next, its equivalent binary form. Binary form means write 1 for variable and 0 for complement of variable. x into y into z bar means 1 into 1, 1, 0. Right? Next, write its uh, decimal form. Decimal form of 1, 1, 0 is equal to decimal form means 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2. So, 2 power 0 means 1, 1 into 0 means 0, leave it. 2 into 1 uh, means 2, 2 and 2 plus 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6. 6. So, what is the answer? into y into z bar. Its main term designation is m6 is the answer. m6 is the answer. Like that, consider third one, x into y into z. Third one, x into y into z. Right? First, what we have to do? Copy the original form of main term, that is That is, copy the original form of mean term. That is, x into y into z. Next, it's a binary form. How to find binary form? If variable is there, write 1. If complement of variable is there, write 0. x into y into z. All the three are variable, write 1, 1, 1. Next, find its decimal equivalent that is decimal form of 1 1 1 is equal to how to write 2 4 0 2 4 1 2 4 2 that is 1 plus 2 plus 4 7 right 7 so x into y into z its main term designation is m m7 is the answer. So, this is nothing but information about main term. What is a main term? Main term is nothing but logical product of several variables where main term is indicated by letter called small m and it has a subscript i. That i represents what? That i represents decimal equivalent of given main term right so this is nothing but information about main term now consider next topic that is max term second one that is max term what is the max term? The logical sum of variables is referred as max term. The logical sum of variable term is referred as max term where max term is indicated by a letter called capital M 
and it also has a subscript called i and it is going to represent max terms designation let us see here what is the max term max term is nothing but it is a logical sum of variables that variable may be complemented form or uncomplemented form but here in a max term in the min term variable is indicated by 1 complement of variable is indicated by 0 in a max term reverse of min term that is variable is indicated by 0 complement of variable is indicated by 1 see here x plus y plus z x plus y x bar plus y bar plus z these are nothing but examples for min term these are nothing but examples for max term sorry max term max terms because see here observe each term is nothing but logical sum of variables logical sum of variables means x plus y plus z x plus y x bar plus y bar plus z bar logical sum of variables where variable may be complemented form or uncomplemented form is referred as max term and in this max this max term is indicated by a letter called capital M and this capital M has subscript I that I represents designation of max term designation of max term see here in the max terms variables are also there and the complement of variable is also there in the max term variable indicates 0 complement of variable indicates 1 exactly opposite of main term for example this is nothing but x plus y plus z means three variables are there its binary form will be 0 0 c in the second example x plus y is there here also only variables are there its binary form is 0 0 in the third example x bar plus y bar plus z is there its equivalent binary form becomes complement of variable means here 1 in the max term therefore it becomes 1 1 0 equivalent binary form now consider two variables x and y and uh, try to write max terms for two variables x and y as well as max term designation x and y are the two variables when the two variables means input combination is 2 power n 2 power 2 4 combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 
This is 1 plus 0. This is 1 plus 1. Right? So, what is the max term? Max term means how to write a max term? In the max term, variable is indicated by 0. Complement of variable is indicated by 1. So, here 0, 0 is there. Means both are variables. Therefore, x plus y. 0 plus 1 means variable is indicated by 0 here. So, 0 plus 1 means variable plus complement of variable x plus y bar. Here, complement of variable x bar plus y. Here, 1 plus 1 means x bar plus y bar. Right? Next, maximum designation means is indicated by capital M. See here, variable is nothing but 0, 0, 0, so 0 plus 0, means how to write the max term designation means, here is also one procedure is there, that is first point, copy the given max term, that is original uh, you know, given max term given max term is equal to x plus y given max term is equal to x plus y same here also find its binary form binary form so here binary form means in the max term variable is equal to 0 Complement of variable is equal to 1. Here variables are there. Write down 0 to 0. Next, it's a decimal form. It's a decimal form. See here. 2 power 0, 2 power 1. It may be anything. 0 is there. 0 into 0, 0 plus 0 into 0, 0. Total 0. So, what we get a decimal form? 0. So, therefore, maximum designation is plus y means 0. Right? Similarly, just find x plus y bar. Second one, x plus y bar. What is the, this is the given max term. It's a binary form means, binary form means 0, 1. Because in the maximum variable is indicated by 0, complement of variable is indicated by 1, here y bar is there, therefore 1. Next, it's a decimal equivalent means, decimal form means 2 for 0, 2 for 1. 2 for 0 means 1, 1 into 1 plus 0 into anything is 0, 1. So, it's a x plus y bar, it's a max term means nothing but m1. So, similarly here, for the second, this is x bar plus y, here also, this is nothing but 0, this is nothing but 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 1 means 2, therefore its max term designation is m3. Similarly here, it becomes what? Complement of variable means 1. That's why here 1, 1 is there. So, 2 power 0, 2 power 1. 2 power 0 means 1, 1 plus 1. Plus 2 power 1 means 2, 2 into 1 means 2, 2 plus 1, 3. That's it. Uh, so, it becomes m sorry here it becomes uh, 2 because 2 power y means variable means 0 
a bar means 1, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, over 2 power 1 means 2 power 0 means 1, 1 into 0, it becomes 0, therefore 2 power 1 means 2. Similarly here, 2 power 0 means 1, 1 into 1, 1 plus 2 power 1 means 2, 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 2, 3. This is nothing but max term. This is nothing but max term. Like this, we have to find main term and max term designations for the given main term max term. And uh, next third one is canonical expression. Canonical expression is nothing but it is a type of a Boolean expression which contains either main terms or max terms. What is canonical expression? It is a type of Boolean expression which contains only min terms or only max terms. For example, see here f of x comma y comma z is equal to x into y into z plus x into y bar plus z plus x into y bar into z bar. Another example f of x comma y comma z is equal to x plus y plus z into x plus y bar plus z into x plus y bar plus z bar. See here these two are nothing but canonical expressions because see the definition what is the canonical expression it is a it is a type of boolean expression which contains either min terms or max terms means expression contains all must be min term or expression contains boolean expression contains must all max terms see here first one f of x comma y comma z is equal to here three terms are there 1 2 3 first term is x into y into z second term is x into y bar into z third term is x bar x into y bar into z bar all three terms represent what mean term right mean terms means what is a canonical expression? It is a type of Boolean expression in which expression contains either min terms or max terms. Here all the three terms are in which form? Min terms. Hence, it is a canonical expression. See here, second example. This is the second example. Example 2. What it is? f of x comma y comma z is equal to? This is one term. This is second term. This is third term x plus y plus z first term x plus y bar plus z second term x plus y bar plus z bar this is third term all these term of all these terms are in which form max terms max terms right max term means logical sum of variables right so it is the expression this expression contains only max terms. First one is an expression, Boolean expression. This term, this expression contains only min terms. So hence, these two are the examples for canonical expressions. Because canonical expression is a type of Boolean expression which contains either min terms or max terms. A expression contains both min terms as well as max terms means that is not a canonical expression. A expression, a Boolean expression is said to be canonical Boolean expression, canonical expression. It must contain either min terms or max terms. So such expressions are called canonical expressions. Thank you. In the next class, we are going to discuss very, very important topic that is K-map.
it is also called corn hook map for the exam point of view it is very very important because we are getting five marks on k map we are going to discuss regarding it in the next class thank you